Allen & Heath's SQ6 is its first 96 kilohertz soundboard, as opposed to 48 kilohertz for its earlier digital soundboards. That's fantastic news because at 96 kilohertz, it has much better resolution of sound, so you get a higher quality sound. It's like going from DVD to Blu-ray in a lot of ways. Better quality, higher resolution, uh, it's going to make a big difference. But the problem is, is that the soundboard is not the only piece in the puzzle. Uh, there's the AR84, which adds an additional 8 inputs and 4 outputs, or the 2412 with 24 inputs and 12 outputs. And those run at 48 kilohertz. Is the SQ6 still compatible? Yes, it is. You can plug in one of the older 48 kilohertz uh, uh, expansions into the SQ6 via a Cat5 or a Cat6 cable, and it will still work. Now, in the works, and some of them are already avail available, are new peripherals that run at 96 kilohertz. Will they work with the SQ6? Yes, they will. And that's fantastic. The difficulty comes is that there is one S-Link port available on the SQ6. And while you can plug multiple devices into that S-Link port, they can be either 96 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. You can't have more than one device coming in through a given S-Link port that is of a different resolution. It either has to be 96 or it can be 48. So the ME1 mixing stations, uh, the ME500 mixing stations, the AR84 and the uh, AR2412, uh, I believe there's another one, all of those that run at 48 kilohertz, you can mix and match them and put them together into the S-Link, but if you've got one of the new DX uh, snakes, uh, the AR84DX, uh, I believe, is the, the one that I've seen, you can't put that and an ME1 on the same S-Snake. So it's fantastic that these are compatible with the older uh, style. And when a 48 kilohertz device is plugged in, as it enters through the S-Snake, it is up-converted to 96 kilohertz. And so you get better processing and better resolution. Uh, the, the source isn't quite as uh, high resolution as what you're working with, but you can still do a lot of amazing things with it. This has been a bit of a source of confusion because just like you can take a DVD and put it into a Blu-ray player, you can't take a Blu-ray and put it into a DVD player. They're just not compatible, uh, but the Blu-ray player is backward compatible. And so there's going to be some confusion. Uh, the good news is that you can use your old peripherals. The bad news is, is that you have to be very careful about how you mix and match them. Uh, the other piece of good news is that there is uh, a plan in the works for an expansion card uh, that will include an additional S-Link port. So you can have the S-Link port that is included and you can have a second S-Link port. And so you can have one running at 48 and the other running at 96. And that's fantastic unless you want to add a Dante card because adding a Dante card is going to take over that expansion port uh, or a Waves card or one of the other peripheral cards that may be available. So when you're looking at buying the SQ6 and you want it to be able to work with your existing hardware uh, that you had for a previous Allen & Heath soundboard, be careful uh, that you don't plan on being able to use your old gear and new gear that you buy, you need to be careful about how you mix and match that stuff. Some of the uh, Allen & Heath documentation implies that with a new version uh, of the software that runs the soundboard internally, they may be working on some workaround or fix because they say at the time uh, 
that, that this is being written, uh, it is not yet able to do these sorts of things, uh, which leaves the possibility that they may be able to find some sort of uh, workaround or fix to be able to let 96 kilohertz and 46 kil 48 kilohertz uh, devices all run out of the same S-Link port. But for the time being, you can either do 96 or you can do 48. You can't do both on the same S-Link port.